their single stitch and that usually wow. heals long before the shoulder even heals like on the inside. When it comes to shoulder surgery, arthroscopic procedures give patients major results while leaving only a minor impact on the body. It used to be that you had to make a larger incision. Uh, you had to damage quite a bit of the uh, tissues to get down before you could do the operation that you were intending to perform. Shoulder arthroscopy uses a tiny camera to examine and repair tissue around the shoulder joint. Surgery is performed through a few small holes. We can do most of these surgeries through about three or four poke holes in your shoulder. Mm -hmm. We can kind of come in from the side, one in the back, one in the front, and then one on the side here, and possibly an additional fourth portal, as mm -hmm. we call them, through here. Before arthroscopy, just accessing the damaged tissue resulted in a new injury, as doctors were forced to cut through muscle to get to the joint. It resulted in more pain, swelling, and a longer recovery time, because the entire shoulder was impacted. What we're trying to do is allow the patient to recover faster and allow them to use these accessory muscles while the other ones are healing. Arthroscopy is a common treatment for rotator cuff repair and labral tears. It's now done as an outpatient procedure. The basic premise is to do as little damage as possible to get in and uh, exact the maximal benefit. If it's caught and repaired early enough, the arthroscopic shoulder procedure leaves patients with years of pain-free movement and function. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.